Hey there guys, Joel Gaming YT here and welcome to episode no not six five of the FIFA 15 Arsenal Career Mode. And in the last episode we played against Chelsea and Manchester United and obviously we beat them, we gave them a footballing lesson. So what's gonna be happening in this episode? Well, I'm hoping to get to the January transfer window, but obviously we've got games in the way. So the first one is away to West Brom Champion at the Hawthorns. Hopefully we can win this game and keep up our amazing season which we fantastic and we win by a goal to nil Danny Welbeck getting the only goal of the game from the penalty spot nice little one nil victory though shame we couldn't get more maybe like two or three but who knows and then we go into this game against Southampton obviously going to be a very difficult game because they've got some really good players but we we win by a goal to nil all thanks to Abu Diaby Mikel Ted unfortunately missed the penalty which was a uh, bit of a shame, but you know that these things happen. But yeah, nice one, Neil Victor over Southampton, and then away to Stoke. Obviously, again, going to be very difficult because they've got some really physical players. But we do win by two goals to one. Uh, Asadi getting their goal. Uh, well, back and Ozil getting their goals, and they had Wilson sent off, which was not good for them. And then Ogbon saying came to me and said I, they would like to leave the club because he wasn't getting played that much. And I was like, shit, maybe I should stop playing him more. <laughs> I do feel bad because he, do he doesn't really be playing. He's like the third choice centre back. But we do go into this game against Newcastle. And we draw 1 0. Urzel and Teoti getting the goals. Uh, Ramsey unfortunately gets sent off, which means he will miss the next game, which, I which is a huge one. It's against Liverpool at Anfield. So, yeah, that was a bit of a shame. We haven't got. Ramsey in the team, so I have replaced him with Arteta, I believe. So, now hopefully it'll be a nice. Hopefully we can pick up a victory because we have done really well against the big, the big, the other big teams. You now we've been Manchester City, we've been Tottenham, we've been United, we've been Chelsea. It's just Liverpool. Liverpool are the team that we have yet to beat. Well, because it's the first time playing them, so yeah. Let's see Gerard there, Mignolet, and let's see we are top, but only by a point over Liverpool. So if we can win this, we will go four points clear of Liverpool at the top, which is very nice. So first, in the first few minutes of the game, ball whipped in by Özil and the header. <laughs> Theo Walker rarely scores any headers, but he scored one there, and I do the stupid celebration. Where I show respect. Uh, yeah, that's the wrong celebration for me. Didn't want to do that celebration. I was, thought I was holding L, T, and B. But as you can see, Walcott just loses his market. Guess what? Everyone, he's not known for his heading accuracy or his jumping. But now that's a nice that was a nice corner in by Messi Erzul, and we are one up against Liverpool, which is always nice. You know, we like to win our games. We like to score goals. That's exactly why we've done it. And Daniel Welbeck throwing goal. Play tries to play it to Mesozo, but they play it behind back. And look at that mistake by Simon Mignolet. You cannot do that in your own penalty box. And it's pretty similar to the one against Sunderland, where Minoni miscontrolled and just gave it to Sanchez. But yeah, that was terrible by Mignolet. He's you know he's an experienced goalkeeper. He shouldn't really be doing that in those sort of positions, you know, because you will, you will get punished. And that's what happened there. So I'm pretty sure on the, on the sidelines, Brendan Rodgers is fuming. And so we get another corner here. This is a few minutes, about 39th minute. Cazorla whips in. <laughs> uh, Walcott tries to do spectacular, but unfortunately comes off a defender. Ozil with the next corner in, and... Walcott again with the second header of the game. That's on the 38th minute, I believe that is. So we are beating Liverpool. We are showing them how to play football. And, you know, to beat Liverpool, to beat any team really is a blessing in disguise. I mean, look at Walcott there. Walcott, like I said, Walcott's not known for his headers, but two beautiful crosses by Ozil. And Ozil, not Ozil, um, Walcott. Again, his second of the game. Two headers in, two, in a game, which is very rare for Walker. And the referee blows sing, uh, blows for half time. Lucas, what is he thinking? Is he thinking, shit, is this going to be 5 6 nil? Only I know what the final score is, but you guys are going to have to wait until the end of this 
new segment of the video. And you can see Man United losing by a goal to nil over against Aston Villa. Spurs winning. Um, but yeah, we're we're the team that's uh, progressing well. We're the team that's scoring goals. We're the team that's top of the league. And this is about the 64th minute. Casola makes a nice tackle and he gets cropped there by I think that was Skirtle. Is it the Skirtle or Lovren? It might have been Henderson actually. We will see if it. No, it wasn't Henderson. He goes off for Coutinho. So we won't know who fouled Casola. But obviously, I'm going to put this on Mikel Ted because he has got an 85 penalty. Can he make up for his miss against. Was it Southampton? He does, but only just. Simon Minier just missing the ball there. But yeah, we are 1 0 up against. No, not 1 0. We're 4 0 up against Liverpool. And. Mikel Arteta scoring from the penalty spot for a second year in the row. Mem remember, last year in real life he scored from the penalty spot in that horrible defeat. He's just done it again, so that's no, all good. And beating our rivals, like I said, always. Um, it's always something that you want to do, and we're falling up against Liverpool. And this is where I make some substitutions. Wilshere, Chamberlain, and Flamini coming on for Ursul Cazorla. And Arteta, but nothing really happened in the last few minutes, and we win by four goals to nil. So yeah, two from Theo Walker, Miss Urzel, and Mikel Arteta from the penalty spot. For me, man of match had to be probably Urzel. It's um for me, I don't know who was probably man of match. Obviously, it was Walker, but for me, I don't know. I mean, Urzel two assists and a goal, Walker two goals. Difficult, really. And what is surprising is Daniel Welbeck didn't score. So, you know, these th obviously these things happen. You won't score in every single game unless you're Messi or Ronaldo. But, you know, these things happen. And we're going to this game against Cooper. It's a London derby. Can we beat Ari Redknapp and his taxing team? I'm joking. Of course we do. We beat them by four goals to nil. Wilshere, Ayu, Walcott and Monreal uh, getting the goals. Obviously, I did change up. Uh, so I missed a penalty, but I think that's on their team, so that, that didn't really matter. Cork could get sent, got sent off for them. And before the January transfer window, we have an away game against West Ham. Can we win? Of course we can. We win by a goal to the Mesut Ozil getting the only goal of the, game, of the game. So we are rocking and rolling in the in the Barclays Premier League, and this is what the table looks like. As you can see, we have now got... We, before the Liverpool game, we were one point ahead. We are now six, so we managed to grab a five-point margin over them. And as you can see, QPR, Leicester City, and Crystal Palace all in the relegation zone. And now coming up is the squad report. So if you want to look at some player stats, you can. Chesney not really going up, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, Debussy's doing well, 29 years old, and he's gone up to 81. Mertesacker, 84 now. Hopefully you can grow a bit, a little bit more, but it's mental stats. A little bit damaging there. Uh, obviously, Bonner not really being used that much. Gibbs, obviously, number one left back. Fellaini's gone up too. Remember, he was the same time when I bought him. It's now an 81. Arteta, despite being 32, he's gone up by one, which is absolutely fantastic. 81 overall. Maybe I should start using him more. I don't know. Walcott's doing pretty nicely. I mean, down one in acceleration. Uh... Don't quite agree with that, but Casola 85 now, he was an 84. No movement from Ursul, not at all, not one, which is a real shame. Daniel Welbeck up by three, maybe it's the 17 when I bought him, now an 81. Chamberlain not really using him that much, maybe I should send him out on loan. Phil Jones, despite hardly being used, up to 81, maybe I should start using him for more often. No movement from Wilshire uh, overall. Uh, Giroud. Nothing from him. I'll spin again. Nothing from him. Because he's only up by three, which is... No. One, I think it is. Or is it two? I don't know. I can't quite see. Flamini, unfortunately, is going down. He's 30 years old. He's younger than Arteta, and he's going down. Uh, Chambers up by... Up to 73 overall. Campbell's doing really well. Uh, so does Bellerin. No, he's actually a third choice uh, right back. There's Martinez. Ramsey's no movement from him at all. Which is again real shame. No movement from Alexis apart from in his mental attributes. There's Max Gradle, not really using him that much. Monreal, maybe I should sell him. I don't know, I haven't quite decided. Maybe specify cash on him because he's not really being used that much. 
Uh, are you gone up to an 80 overall? Still going strong. There's the RB, and also got some players out on loan. And yeah, <laughs> so that's obviously very awesome. So then, that's hopefully I've enjoyed this. And if so, please leave a like, please subscribe as well. And guys, it's a transfer window. You're not what I need. Please leave in the comments below. Who should I sign? I think a left back is needed here. But maybe strengthen in other positions. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And if so, please leave a like, please subscribe as well. And I'll see you next time. Cheers lads, peace and bye.